right, guys, welcome back to Downtown Rams. As always, I'm your host, Alexis Kraft. Join here with my co-host, Jake Ellenbogen. And we are continuing with our 2022 NFL Draft Prospect interviews. And joining us on the show right now, we have Cole Johnson, quarterback from James Madison. How are you doing, Cole? Great. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Uh, we'll get started right away. Uh, just want to know when you started playing football, at what age, and uh, when you kind of figured you could potentially do this in the NFL one day. Yeah. Um, I'd say I've been playing football since I was really young, um, even from flag football, you know, all up into, you know, playing tackle football, but I didn't start playing quarterback until uh, right about the start of high school. Um, I played in a bunch of different positions and being a taller guy. Um, and that kind of molded me um, and to kind of just thinking about, you know, playing different positions and, and my father and my grandfather thought, you know, it'd be a good idea to, to play quarterback, you know, could use your intelligence along with, you know, your height and, um, you know, learn to throw up from there. And, um, you know, so I, I kind of progressed through high school and uh, played, you know, pretty well enough to earn some offers. Obviously wasn't a huge recruit, uh, you know, two or three star recruit, um, went to James Madison, a, FC, a really good FCS program um, and, and sat in the bench for, um, you know, four years, played a little bit here and there, but, um, you know, obviously getting my, you know, two years of starting um, with the, the COVID spring season. And then, um, you know, obviously this last fall and, and kind of really excelling this last fall. Um, so I'd say, you know, kind of over this last fall, it, it really hit me that, you know, I, I got a shot, you know, maybe make it to the to NFL. For sure. And growing up, did you watch a lot of the NFL? And if so, who was your favorite player? Yeah, um, I, I always watched. Um, I, I'm actually a Dolphins fan. My uh, my family raised me as a Dolphins fan, but um, so, you know, watching a lot of them and, and obviously having to play Tom Brady twice a year um, and just kind of his style, um, you know, his leadership and competitiveness. But I, I'd say, you know, I, I watched a lot of different quarterbacks growing up and, and kind of, um, you know, understanding the game. And um, I love both college and, you know, NFL football. So once so there's one guy, you know, obviously you always make comparisons to certain people, but I love Brady. I love, you know, a lot of those quarterbacks, Manning, and I love watching the game. Now, what made you, Cole, uh, decide to play at James Madison? Yeah, it was a, a few different factors. I think, you know, <clears> close, <throat> to, close to home. I'm a Virginia Beach guy, so it was about three hours away. Um, you know, I think at the time I had a, a couple of FBS offers, but, um, you know, you're looking at it, uh, you can kind of come, come in and compete right away and, um, you know, play still at a high level in James Madison, um, you know, and you compete for championships every year there at the FCS level. Um, and I thought it was a really good fit for me up and coming and then to be able to win a national championship there and, and go back a couple more times, it was really special. For sure. And, you know, to someone who might be interested in playing football at James Madison, how would you pitch the school to them as well as the football program? Yeah, I think if you look at, uh, you know, the past four or five years, um, obviously an incredible growth from you know, becoming a perennial top FCS team and kind of mo now moving into the, the Sun Belt the FBS um, world. And I think you just see how quickly uh, rising and how fast um, this, you know, program is um, turning into, you know, a more of a national recognized brand. Um, and I think it's something that comes along with, you know, attention from the NFL um, as you get bigger and bigger. So I think you're going to compete in a great uh, Eastern division of the Sun Belt with teams like Marshall, App, App State, Coastal Carolina. So um, some really good football people are going to start playing in the next couple of years. And I'm excited to watch it. Now, you know, one thing is when you play in college and mainly when you're in the FCS or the FBS or what have you, uh, you're always against tough competition. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. Even if you play for the Citadel, for instance, you're going up against Alabama, you know, at least once a year. Uh, so you've gone up against plenty of guys. But is there one guy that stands out to you uh, that you would call the toughest uh, player that you've faced throughout your uh, time in college? That's a good question. Um, I'd say as far as uh, somebody I faced this year, a guy from uh, Villanova, a corner, Christian Benford, I think his name, um, going in, I think he had, you know, six, six intercepts, six interceptions the first like five weeks. Um, and I think he's getting, you know, some looks at, at the NFL level right now. Um, and we had a really good receiver who just recently transferred to South Carolina, Antoine Wells. Um, and they kind of had a really good matchup. And 
Um, you know, I haven't seen, you know, any corners really be able to compete with that guy and he, he stuck with him the whole game. So um, that's probably the best you know corner I've faced, I think. Yeah. And is there any favorite game that you played in during your college career? Um, that's a great question. Um, actually my freshman year, uh, was the year we won the national championship. And, um, I kind of started out as a, uh, red shirt guy and, and probably a third or fourth string guy, um, on the roster. And then, uh, we had an injury to the second string guy. So I kind of moved up to that second string role late in the year. I had been on scout team the whole year. Um, and then our first string guy got hurt and I ended up having to, you know, come in against, uh, Villanova and then played at, uh, started at Elon that year. Um, and it was my first ever start as a freshman. And, uh, we ended up, you know, I played, played really well and we ended up winning and ended up winning national championship the year. So, um, I think that's probably the most special game is kind of just, you know, looking back on that. In your opinion, uh, playing the quarterback position, what is the most important trait? Yeah, I think, um, there's a lot of stuff that goes along with it, but, uh, I, I'd say intelligence, um, is probably the biggest thing you gotta have as a quarterback, um, in terms of, you gotta know where your 11, your 11 guys are on your, t- on your side of the ball and all the 11 on the other side. And, um, just having the intelligence to read defenses. And I, I think it's probably the hardest position in all of sports. Um, as far as you have to know so much and that takes so much of a physical toll on it. And you can do everything right on your end and one mistake by somebody else, you know, really hurts you. So I think having that intelligence to be able to kind of read defenses, understand plays, understand concepts um, is something that really, you know, is, is necessary at quarterback. And what would you say is your biggest strength as a player? Yeah, I think um, if you look at me, I think, you know, I play with a lot of touch and accuracy, um, you know, good intelligence and, and good able to understanding of the game and, and coverages and able to read a defense um, and so I think I have, you know, underrated athleticism. I wouldn't say I'm, you know, over athletic, but I'm able to make a play when I need to. Um, and I think, you know, be able to kind of sit in the pocket and maneuver, you know, in that pocket and, um, escape pressure when needed. Um, but, you know, I think just, you know, touch accuracy, um, you know, at all levels and then, um, just intelligence, understanding defenses and my competitiveness and, and leadership, I think really what sets me apart. Now, Cole, I, I once saw an interview where Aaron Rodgers described the quarterback position as one that you essentially can never be perfect at. You can always get better. Uh, is there something, you know, in your game that you're really looking to improve on and maybe even fine tune going into the NFL? Yeah, for sure. I think that's the spe- most special thing about, you know, the quarterback position. I think he's right on there is there's so many facets of it, both mentally and physically, that um, you can always improve. I mean, even a guy like him who won MVP, he, he knows he got so much to improve on, you know, look at guys who've been in the years for 10, 15 in the league for 10, 15 years, they have so much to improve on. So, um, you know, I think I can, you know, obviously been put on a little more weight. I played at about 215. I'm up to about you know, 220, 225 now. Um, and, and then just a lot of the NFL schemes and um, footwork, I think is something that I really need to work on, um, you know, being under center, maybe 10, 15 times in my college career, something you're going to be a lot more, um, at the next level and just understand the speed of the game is going to be a lot different. Um, you know, I think at the top of the FCS, there's a lot of great teams and they compete with a lot of FBS, but if you look top to bottom, uh, the competition just isn't quite as good as FBS level. And then you think about the NFLs, it can even hold another level of that. So um, just understand this to be a, a lot level uh, raised in my competition um, and I think, you know, pocket maneuver and uh, ability and pocket awareness is, is something I can work on, you know, arm strength, d- thrown from different angles. So um, I'm always working and always training to you know, kind of improve those. For sure. And this next question is just kind of a, a fun question, but if you had to pick one receiver to throw to, to throw a touchdown to in the NFL, who would it be? Uh, that's a great question. Might have to go with Tyreek Hill. I love guys with just speed, and I think I could probably throw it as far as I could, and he just run under it. So I'll, I'll go with Tyreek Hill. And you're a Dolphins fan, so <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I, I don't think that's a bad one at all. Uh, it'd be a lot of fun being able to throw a deep ball to a guy that can just basically run underneath it, no matter how far you throw it. Yeah, um, exactly. <laughs> Now, you know, in regards to our podcast, if you don't already know, we are a Ram centric podcast during the majority of the season. Uh, So I want to ask you if you have spoken 
or, you know, had any sort of contact to the Los Angeles Rams throughout this process? Um, I haven't personally had contact with them. Um, I know they were at my pro day and my uh, quarterback coach said he talked to them a little bit about me. Um, and so I'm not sure, you know, if they are interested or not. Um, I've heard from, you know, various teams, but um, from what I understand, there's, you know, some teams that will be, you know, talk to you and in interview before the process. And there's even some teams that um, kind of don't let it be known that they're interested in you and they won't talk to you. So, um, you know, I haven't heard anything from them, but, you know, we'll see, uh, you know, in the next couple of weeks, what happens. Well, the Rams are one of the teams that will literally never contact a player <laughs> and then draft them. Gotcha. Um, <laughs> it has happened several times that we know of. So yeah, definitely uh, interesting that they, they talk to your quarterback coach. So they definitely um, are keeping an eye on you, but yeah, we'll see what happens in a couple of weeks, but you know, to close this out, just in your own words, who is Cole Johnson as a player and who is he as a person? Yeah, I think as a player, you're going to get somebody who's uh, the toughest and most competitive guy in the field. Um, and that works, you know, relentlessly uh, to always improve, you know, what they, uh, you know, aren't as good at. And um, I think, you know, I'm patient and humble. And I've, you know, shown that throughout my process that I had to wait a few years and I didn't transfer at the, you know, first moment that I could. So, um, you know, I think I'm just a, a super hardworking guy that, um, you know, understands the game of football and has gotten better and better. And my potential ha still hasn't been reached yet. Um, and given the right opportunity to, you know, develop under a certain coach or a certain staff and uh, under a certain great quarterback, um, you know, I think that'd be a great opportunity for me in the NFL. So um, as far as a player, I don't think you'll get somebody who will work harder than me and um, put in more, you know, effort than me. And then as, you know, a person, I think, um, you know, I'm just a, a smart, you know, hardworking, um, you know, uh, just humble person um, that, that'll go out there and, and put the work in every day uh, and, and hope that I can make the team and make it in the NFL. Well, I love that answer, Cole. And just kind of uh, finishing up here, you know, off the gridiron, oh, I just want to give, you know, want you to give us uh, three recommendations, uh, a TV show that we should watch, a, an album we should listen to, and a snack that we should try and eat. Gotcha. So TV show, I'm going to go, uh, there's a show called Fargo. Um, the first two seasons, it's a different kind of setup every season, but the first two seasons are some of my favorite um, TV shows I've seen all time. They're kind of um, not as well known as a lot of the big shows. Um, an album, it's a great question. I'm not a huge music guy, but um, I'd say some of Kanye's old stuff, maybe Homecoming. Um, I'm a big old Kanye guy, not as much as his new stuff, but anything um, 2000, 2010 is my Kanye stuff. And then snack, let me think of snack. I like the, uh, the wasabi and soy sauce uh, almonds. Um, and they're very, they're a little spicy and uh, they taste amazing. So and they're pretty healthy for you. So <laughs> that's my three for you. That does sound very good, actually. I do yeah. like almonds <laughs> and I like that flavor. Interesting. I definitely that's will good. need to try that. Um, yeah, very good. Haven't seen Fargo, but yeah, the old Kanye. Good recommendation there for sure. But uh, anyways, thank you so much, Cole, for coming on the show. We know it's a really busy time, a very exciting time. We're excited for you. Uh, definitely we'll be following your journey, uh, seeing where you end up and, and what happens. Uh, we'll definitely be in touch. But until the draft in nine days, <laughs> um, yep. stay healthy, you know, take care. Uh, and again, we're excited for you. We wish you the best of luck. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, Cole. You take care. Stay healthy. Thank <laughs> you.